batch of puddles has been nominated for two awards in the mad blog awards we've been nominated for the best family life blog and also for the most inspiring blog my blog is titled home educating the puddle chicks because that's how it started a record of our life as a family who chose not to send our children to school we've been home educating for ten years now and keeping the blog for nine and over those years the blog has changed quite a lot from being just a day-to-day -day record of what the children did to being a little bit more about me and how life works in this family over the last year I've written a lot about Freddie who was our little boy who died when he was 11 days old and the girls have spent a lot of the last year learning to be a new kind of family with us as we get over this but I thought as the blog was about them mostly of, most out of everything I'd like to ask them why they thought we should win this award so Emily, who's got her fingers in her mouth, is going to tell me why she thinks we should win the Best Family Life Award. Um, because we're a good family. Yeah, why do you think we're a good family? Uh, lots of art. Lots of art. And fun. Lots of fun. What do you think we do that's fun? Uh, family films and games. Family films and games. I'm going out to London. <laughs> going out to London. Okay. To museums. So, Emily, your whole life has been lived on this blog because I started it when you were just a few months old. What do you think about having had your whole life written about on the internet? Um, cool. It's cool. Do you like it? Yeah, older than me. Yeah, what do we say when we do something that's been really good? What do we say we're going to do? We say we're going to uh, put it on... The blog. Put it on, on the blog. blog. On yeah. blog. On blog, we say. You thought of that, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so Maddie, what do you think about our blog? Why do you think it should win the award? Because we put a lot about us and friends and stuff on it and we have a lot of interesting stuff, I think, to write about. We, go, we like going out to places a lot like Burley House and Belton House and Wood Green and to our friends' houses and I just really enjoy what we do. That's good. So you like being home educated as well? Yes. And you're getting a bit bigger now. You're 11. So do you mind having your life written about on the internet? No, not really. There are some things that I, li I like looking on. I haven't really, don't really look on the blog a lot, but I think if I did more often, then I'd um, read about things that I, didn't re I couldn't really remember that I think was funny. Some that I might that might have been some things that I was embarrassed about that... I might get a bit cross that they were on the blog, but then laugh about it later. <laughs> you have made a lot of the funny stories on the blog over the year with the funny things you said, that's true. So Josie, you, you and the day that you were born is one of the things that's written about, that read about the very most on the blog. Do you like having your life on the blog? Yeah, and what do you like about your life? What do you like about this family? <laughs> Don't know. She also has a very special birthday. She does have a special birthday, doesn't she? What's your birthday, Josie? Firework night. Firework night, you're right. Remember, remember the 5th of November. That's right. So, Fran, the other award that we've been nominated for is the most inspiring blog. Um, hopefully you know what inspiring means. So, <laughs> <laughs> why do you think that we've been an inspiring blog over the last year? I think, like what you write about, is quite inspiring and will inspire people to home educate their children if they're having a tough time at school and help them with family troubles and like what we've had in the past year um, um, what do you like about having the blog I like looking back over things that were six years ago. Or there is a lot of your life on there. The whole of our very first website, which was called Muddle Puddle, was built just about home educating Fran, and that was is now over ten years old. So the blog kind of came from that. Okay, the other thing, girls, that we've done loads of over the years is we've built up our own business. Okay, so tell tell us what our business is called. Feed Merrily. Feed <laughs> Merrily and play Merrily. And um, and, yeah. and Jolly Dolly. And Jolly Dolly. And when you were all very little, you had to put up with quite a lot of me building the business up, didn't you? Mm. And it was quite tough. So what's been the best thing about the last few years? We went to Disneyland. 
room, not be, got... being able to get into the dining room at Christmas time. <laughs> <laughs> not having it full of parcels. Yeah. Not sleeping in a room full of bags and stuff. <laughs> and also, um, also ha Daddy not working five days a week. That's right, so Daddy gave up work a couple of years ago, didn't he? And he took over running the business from me. So thank you very much for what you've just said. And now, as a quick goodbye, I'm going to take people and just show them a few other things about the house. So you have to all keep quite quiet for a minute, OK? Do you want to give a big wave goodbye? Bye. Bye. <laughs> okay, so here's the teddy bear collection. This is the whole family collection. This is a bear for each child and also my bear from when I was very little. Okay, and we have our pictures of Freddy under there, which is our special little spot. And over here is the room that used to belong to the business and should perhaps have become a bedroom last year. As you can see, we're a very real family with horrible, horrible piles of rubbish absolutely everywhere and I'm determined at some point I'm going to turn this into something that doesn't look like a junk room. <clears throat> and in here, this is where the kids keep some of their stuff. Okay, so each of them has a work cupboard for their home educating life, which Maddie is quickly hiding away. Um, and over here, just to prove I'm a very real human being, <sighs> that's my desk okay I'm feeling far too ropey and grumpy to show you my face today so I'm just going to get all the girls to say please vote for us and thank you very much please vote for us thank you very much thank you